Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own wall plaque with like an initial on it. My fiance's last name starts with a D. So I went to Walmart and I bought this. Um, I don't know how big it is. I lost the sticker. Um, but it's just probably five inches around square. And then it was like $2 max. And then I got a D. And these are all unfinished wood. I got a D. And I'm going to make this into a wall mount because I found out we'll be moving real fast. So what you're going to need for this DIY is obviously your letter of choice and a plaque. You can get these plaques in different shapes and all that. We're going to use some glue. I just have crazy glue on hand. You're going to need some of these foam paint brushes. I got mine from Walmart and they were like 78 cents. You're going to need your paint. I just got the Apple Barrel Outdoor Indoor Gloss Paint. I got it in dark gray and in white. I got a small one of the white but I also have big because I'm also going to be painting this table and that's going to be the next one. So what we're going to do first is start with the big plaque obviously and I'm just going to open my paint and you can buy one of the little trays to put your paint on one of the little palettes I'm literally just going to be using a paper plate because it is cheaper. Had it at the house. So I'm going to squirt out quite a bit of paint just because I want to make sure I have enough. And I'm just setting that over here to the side. We're going to open up these brushes and I'm going to start with this big guy here. And we're just going to dip into our paint. These are already smoothly finished. Um, if you happen to find one, and it has like some jagged edges or on it or something like that, you can easily sand it. So we're just gonna start painting. I like using these foam brushes a lot more than actual paint brushes when it comes to stuff like this because you don't get stroke marks. So, and you wanna start with a light coat first. See what I'm saying? You can see like where you're sweeping it up and down, but you can't see like stroke marks and you're not going to be able to have like loose paintbrush hairs because I have a serious problem getting paintbrush hairs everywhere. You're going to get your hands a little bit dirty more than likely. Just part of it. So like I said, we're just doing a really light coat. And if you and while this is drying, I left the top edge unpainted because we're going to let this dry before we do that box. So you're not going to need nearly as much paint because we don't have to paint this whole thing. So I'm just going to squirt out a little bit. And these are gloss. I wanted the glossiness. So you're going to pick whatever side you want to face out. And obviously you're going to want it to face out the right way. My table. There we go. And I just have one of these smaller brushes here. And we're just going to start out. And this is acrylic paint. And I got the, a lot of people use matte for stuff like this, but I like the glossy because it gives it a, I like gloss finish better than matte anyway, so. Now, from where this is a lighter color, you are more than likely going to have to do a few coats of this. It won't be too bad. And you want to make sure you work in light layers so it dries faster. There's no sense on putting 15 coats on to get a really good coverage and then having to paint it five or six or letting it dry for like three days. So like right here, I'm doing the same thing I did with the plaque. I'm just going to paint everywhere but where my hand is holding it and then let it dry and come back three pack for 78 cents. So I've pretty much gotten everything I can covered while I'm holding it up. So I'm going to just set it down right here and you can see you get paint on your hands so you got to be careful. So I'm just going to leave it right here to dry. I might go ahead and you want to make sure your coats are even 
like I had a blob right there that wasn't really blended out well. You want to make sure they're even or you're going to get random chunks in your paint. And nobody wants that. Okay, so I'll be back in about two hours to do another coat and then put it together and I'll show you guys the finished product and all that. Alright. Alright, so we're back and our pieces are completely dry. Here is the gray plaque and my D. The paint on the table is dry too. So we're just going to lay out our plaque and we're, we have some crazy glue is what I'm using. You can definitely find something else you'd rather use. So I'm just going to flip the D over to the back side and apply a pretty generous amount This is a very small bottle. I did not realize how little it was. I hope this sticks. We might be having to make a trip. Oy. Okay, so definitely get a bigger tube of glue than this. So you're going to want to wait until this is almost dry. And you also really want to make sure you get glue in the corners. Like I said, you can do this with any letter anytime. Okay, so I have it facing me so I can line it up straight. Okay, so I have it stuck down like so. And what we're going to do. What we're gonna do is hang on. Apparently there is a little glob that I did not see of white paint. It was kind of blobby. If you find one like that, you can just kind of run your foam brush over it and get the excess paint off. Okay, so now that we have this done, all I'm gonna do is put probably a cutting board and a candle or two over it to really add some weight on it but you can see it is stuck down so this is going to be really pretty in our house I'm super excited that it came out this well um, so yeah this was like under ten dollars and the next video I'm going to post is painting this little it's like an entryway table but I kind of use it for makeup and everything else so I hope you guys like this DIY I think it came out really really nice and I do like the gloss finish of these two items i don't like matte anything so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and please subscribe and leave a like down below so you can stay tuned for my home diys and decor remodeling on your own and of course beauty videos and mommy and me videos so i'll see you guys all in the next video bye